Hey guys, it's Sunday morning. One week later, it's time for Hatchimal Hunt Part 2. I'm here at Jenna's house again. She's getting ready. Yeah, Jenna's coming this week. Ryan's going to sit this one out. 5.30 in the morning. Look at this. This week it's 7 degrees out. 7! So the rumor is today that Target is going to be the one with Hatchimals. It says it's 7 degrees out. Why? Why? Be because your husband wants to do a video Why? with a Hatchimal. Why? It isn't it your first day of vacation? Why? Yes. You agreed to this last night. I was tired. Vanilla chai tea? I got you a medium vanilla chai. Woohoo! Just the way you like it. All right. And I got my hot cocoa. I mean, how many people are gonna be out on a Sunday morning for a Hatchimal in seven degree weather? How many parents want this and how many kids are like, I want that for Christmas. And like, Darn, Ryan, Ryan's, been, Ryan's been begging you for weeks. He's been as bad as a kid. I want a Hatchimal. Yep. That's, <laughs> that's been your life, that's why you agreed to this? No, I don't know why I agreed to this. I was tired last night. For me, it's the thrill of the hunt. I mean, we've already opened some Hatchimals, but Ryan has an idea for a video. I don't want to spoil anything for his channel, and he's been going on about it for a long time. I think ever since you had them on yours. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's head in and see how Target's looking. Okay, so we're pulling into Target. It warmed up. It's 12 degrees now. And it looks like there are cars in that parking lot. After we turn this corner. Let's see how many people are braving the cold for a Hatchimal. Quite a few cars. Now some of these could be employees, but I would imagine the employees are on this end. Oh, uh, there is a line forming though. There's about 10 people in line. Oh wow, look at those. What? I think some of those are the same people we saw at uh, Toys R Us last week. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on at Toys R Us a week later. There are a few people in the parking lot. Yeah, there are a few people. A lot of cars running. We'll do a quick swing by. Oh look, we can see inside the old uh, door next door. Spirit of... Yeah, it was Spirit of Halloween, but it was like a bomb sporting good. Nobody's waiting in line. Maybe they shoot everybody away. No, it doesn't look like anything's going on here. Maybe somebody came out and said, sorry guys, no Hatchimals today. Probably. Uh, on our way by, weren't there a couple of people outside? I thought there was like one or two that was like <laughs> by the door. Maybe they're just employees stalking. But there are... Definitely a few cars here. Look, they're wiping the frost off their cars. They might be uh, employees overstocking or... Looks like Ryan may not get a Hatchimal for Christmas after all. Sorry, Ryan. We tried. Target, according to the little stock checker that I had on my phone, that Target had about... 14 or 16, somewhere in that ballpark. It was it, under 20. Yeah, it was under 20, and there had to have been at least that many people in line. Some of them were like wrapped up in sleeping bags. It was nuts. It and sense. 11 degrees, I wonder how many, how long they'd been there. They were camping out, I they're, don't know. They're hardcore. I'm not that hardcore. No, so we're hoping, once again, we're hoping maybe Walmart. We know it's wishful thinking, but hey, you know, maybe Walmart will surprise us. We plan to still swing by Target, maybe again but uh let's see what's going on here at walmart all right and we're back in the car didn't even record anything in there there were like a million employees they were all stalking but one thing they weren't stalking were hatchimals yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Jenna found some stuff though. I'm excited about my stuff. <laughs> so okay. stay tuned to uh, What's Jenna Trying on What's Ryan Trying dot com because she's gonna probably have a little haul one of these weeks coming up. Probably. Um, yeah, so big old fail right there and it's freezing out. I don't know. We should have come with our uh, sleeping bags apparently if we wanted to hatch them well, all. Well, Ryan has one that's good for 20 below. There you go. So you, should've... you should have come with that. You know what? We could have just dropped him off. <laughs> hey, honey, stay in line. If you want one that bad. Yeah, if you want one that bad, just stay in line. We'll we'll get we'll get come get you when you're a popsicle. So we're getting a little hungry right now. So what do you say we get some breakfast and then we'll swing by Target again and just see uh, what's going on. <laughs> I think all 14, 15 of those hatchimals are probably accounted for by now. Yeah, that's it. But maybe they'll, all those people that have been waiting in line all night are like frozen solid. They can't move, so we could just like walk by. They probably handed out <laughs> tickets and they went back to their cars. We probably should just go back to see how many people are in line now. Okay, and then we'll swing and get some breakfast. Yep. All right, we are back at Target. We're about... 45 minutes from opening. Yeah, we're, I don't know what the line looks like. We came in from the other way, so the big reveal. Here it is. Ready? Oh, oh there's my probably, goodness. There are probably about 50 people in line now. Yeah. There's at least 20. I think they're all huddling together now for heat. I would. It's 11 degrees out again. There's no way that's 50 people. Well, okay, that's not 50, but at least 20. Are we in line? Oh man. I don't think One, they... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. This one guy at the beginning, look at him. He's... Yeah. <laughs> One's wrapped up in a comforter. Holy cow, that's some dedication. And there are other... Look at the vent. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I got distracted. Are we going uh, in line? I don't know. Look at them all milling around up there. I don't know where the line goes and ends. Maybe they have like some sort of a system. I don't don't think today's gonna oh, have a hatch them up. Or either that or like save my spot. Yeah, probably. Like I gotta go to the car and warm up. If I don't lose any fingers or anything. Are all we right. in or are we out? I'm what how many do they have? 16, 17, yeah, yeah. 18? There's about that many people in line. <sighs> what do you say we get some breakfast and then swing back and see? And See. do more shopping? <laughs> yeah. Not for a hatch mobile, but shopping. Having breakfast sure. now. We're not waiting outside in 12 degree heat. No, we're waiting inside in 60 degree weather. With the fireplace going. Yeah, and food. Mm. Sorry, Ryan. So we're at... Oh, hi, Kion. So we're in Toys R Us and Jenna's on a rare toy hunt with us. Apparently Toys R Us opened up at 7 o'clock this, this week. And next weekend they open up at 6 a.m. Santa's coming early. They have a talking foolie right now. <laughs> but anyway, the reason that is we're here... Is Where Waldo coming back? There's probably like a movie in the works. What do you think? Can you picture a Where's Waldo movie? Yeah. Who would, Remember? Play, who would play Waldo in a movie? Let us know down in the comments. Will Ferrell. <laughs> you think Will Ferrell like Elf? Yeah. He would he play would. Waldo? Imagine him with a little hat and like the glasses. Like trying to blend into like a big crowd. I can see it. There's gotta be, somebody somewhere has written a script for a Where's Waldo movie. Oh, I'm sure. Oh my goodness, this is the Guardians of Harmony that we're missing. Is it? Yes, Jenna <laughs> is our good luck charm. I pointed out this one. Yeah, we have this one. They actually have them here now. We've seen them at Walmart and now they're here at Toys R Us and I got the big spike down here. But this one right here has eluded us. What does it do? Press the button. I haven't even seen this in person. Where's the button? It's like this trail of smoke. It's... Oh, there we go. Whoa. <laughs> so it's $30. Yeah, this is coming home with us. It's still going. But that looks more like smoke. It is smoke. It looks like a rocket pack that you put their legs in. Oh, it's still going. You're going to use the batteries in it. I'm kidding. No, but like that looks like a different color than that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, that happens sometimes. Like yeah. the color on the package is different than what was actually made. Is there any other ones? Oh, those are all the same. Sweet. No Hatchimals here, of course. But look, they got Meowsies. 
They got tons of Furby. Walmart had tons of Furby as well. Zoomer Kitty. We were sent a Zoomer Chimp. We need to review him. It's kind of cute. Maggie versus Zoomer the Chimp. Who would win? I don't know. There's a thumbnail right there. Hold up the uh, ponies and uh, put the cat hat on. <laughs> Toy hunt with Jenna thumbnail. Jenna, I think you should start collecting Funko Pops. There's too many. Do you think you complete the set? I don't think so. But I think the one that you really want is is Rose from the Golden Girls. Right, we should get those for Mom and Dad. <laughs> There's Scooby-Doo. There's too many. That's Here's Sven. Do you have Sven? <gasps> no. Right above Kelly Kapowski from Saved by the Bell. Oh, they're doing Saved by the Bell? They've done everything. You name it, there is a... Funko Pop for Yeah. Okay, which one is you in the morning and which one is Ryan in the morning? Is this that me. you? This is me. This is Ryan. When Ryan rolls out of bed, he looks like that. Chewbacca. Yep. This one he doesn't shave. Yeah. And that's you? You, you roll out of bed looking all cute? I do. I got up 15 minutes before you uh, picked me up this morning. Oh, wow. Watch out for that bot. Oh. We're taking you into custody. Summer. <laughs> Can't shop anymore, John. See any good games for what's Ryan trying? Slam Witch. Slam Witch? That actually sounds what's pretty this? funny. I don't know the name of it, but maybe it's around here. There's this game where you're supposed to draw whatever's on the card, but you're wearing like these goggles that have like water in them, so you can't really like googly eye glasses. Oh, I don't know. We had this one, which I, but it's double draw. We had the one. Two kinds of clues, classic and introducing Pictionary pairs. Yeah, we had one where you flipped it over and it was like electronic yeah, we, on the foot. I, but we, some of the stuff they wanted you to draw was like, what the, how do you draw that on a- It was weird. Yeah, it was very, comp, not complicated, but it, like, like the stuff they wanted you to draw on this guy were like impossible. I think we went through them all. Though. Oh, there's Fantastic Gymnastics. Yeah, there were a lot of repeats once we started playing. More than three times. Ooh, heads up, as what seen on Ellen. Look. Oh, bother. Oh, bother. They have a London one. Is that for like Harry Potter? Butterflies. These are kind of cool. Can you tell Jenna doesn't go to the toy store often? No, you need to come out with us more often. Look, there's BB-8 Operation. How fun would that be? I always wanted the uh, operation with uh, Olaf. Oh, Tegan would want to get in on this game. Look at this. It's sorry. They're, they're playing sorry, but it's a bunch of bots just gathered around. Walking Dead. I don't like that show. Ryan watches. What? Does it give you nightmares? I don't. I'm not even in the same room. He can't watch it when I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> what? I found it. That's the game I was talking about. Google the eyes. The family game of Wacky Vision. Oh my gosh. So like... Oh, well, there's like all sorts of stuff in these goggles and you're like supposed to draw something. That would be funny. So we'll keep that in mind. If you have any good ideas for board games... <laughs> Life with Minions? <laughs> That's funny. Where's Olaf? Oh, don't break the ice. They also have, like, Don't Break the Castle. Oh, there you go. I remember that What's game. Is this the one that you have to put, like, all the bricks in and you hit Yep, and then you hit it with the little hammer, yep. We have the old school. So what's... Where's Olaf? I think you... It says play hide and seek. So maybe you just hide Olaf around the house. Oh, it's a game. Yeah, you hide it around the house, but you have cards and it looks like... Here's another good one. Here's Gooey Louie, where you pick pick the boogers out of his nose. That's gross. Or don't pass the gas, the gas out game. 
So these are the good ones where they do something gross. Where's that pig that you feed it and then it explodes? Don't pop the pig. <laughs> Don't pop the pig. All right, we made our way back to Target. They've been open for 43 minutes, so I'm sure all those hatch moles are long gone from those dedicated people. They deserve them. If they've been outside all night long when it's 12 in degrees out. Or, a, in a, or in a sleeping bag, yeah, you got them. Yeah, Ryan won't be trying a hatch mole, I no. guess. Nope, no Ryan. Unless it's after Christmas. All right, we're gonna go in here real quick and then I gotta, gotta head back home. All right, let's do this. We're back in the car, no Hatchimals. Hatchimal fail. It was pretty crowded in there and like all the shelves seemed like kind of ransacked and it's only been open for like 40 minutes. Yeah, it was we like an hour 19. We overheard some of the employees talking about the Hatchimals line that had been forming. Since four in the morning. It probably was before that. That's She she said that she came in, she at, four. Came in at four and there were already people waiting for Hatchimals. That is crazy. So, sorry, Ryan. We're not dedicated we're, that much. No, we're not dedicated enough for your crazy Hatchimal video idea. Oh, well. But, it's not a total loss. Uh, I almost called you Ben. Jenna got Jenna. Bumble Jammies, and Bumble she jammies. has never had a peppermint mocha frappuccino. But look what I got for her. They kind of skimped on us. Uh, usually, they put little chocolate shavings on the whipped cream. Makes a nice presentation, but I'm sure it's still delicious. So this is Jenna's first time. This is your first time for Starbucks ever? Second. Second ever experience with Starbucks? Yeah, so it's peppermint mocha. Does it taste a lot like coffee? No, just try it. Tastes like Christmas. That's good. I want to point out you got the cold drink on the day that's like 11 degrees outside. Hey, the, the, the car is going to be uh, warm on the way home. Uh oh, don't tell Ben that we got peppermint mocha frappuccinos without You're her. You're filming it. I can save her mine. <laughs> Doesn't it taste like Christmas? Mmm. Delicious. They're probably like 8 million calories, but they are delicious. And now I've converted Jenna. She can't stop drinking it. Yummy. I don't taste tummy. the mint though. You taste the mocha? I taste the mocha. I taste the... Maybe they were a little not so generous on the mint today. I taste the mint in mine. Made them in the same blender. It's not very overpowering. No, it's good though. Thumbs so up we're from back Jenna. at Jenna's house. Ryan, we didn't get you. Ryan's right here. He's in his jammies. He doesn't want me to record him. Can't believe you didn't get any hatchimals. It was nine degrees out. So? <laughs> We had got coats on. We had brother and sister bonding time. We went to Walmart. We found out the Coke co Coca Cola trucks are coming the 18th. Yeah, We're the Coca Cola caravan is coming to Walmart on the 18th. The heck has a Coca Cola caravan? Uh, of it the, has, it the, has, the Santa it, trucks. It's the Santa trucks. <laughs> and you get to meet Santa. Oh, are you gonna just? Is it gonna be too <laughs> cold and you're just gonna quit? <laughs> How many people were in line? There were 20. at least, yeah, at least 20. And half of them looked like the same people from last week in their sleeping bags. And, and how stuff. many Hatchimals were there? There were... 15. Yeah, there were... <laughs> 15 or... Up? No, there were on the... We had a little app, a Target app, that said how many were in stock. And it was like 15 or 16. So you had a good chance, because probably not everyone there was for a Hatchimal. They may have been for they Nintendo. They lined up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we overheard one of the employees say, I came in at 4 and the line was already formed. Oh, wow. Like, that's some dedication right there for a toy. I know. I still want to know where these people <laughs> are going to the bathroom. Leave down in the comments, you know those people who wait in line in their sleeping bags all night for Hatchimals and Nintendos? Ryan wants to know, where do you think they go to the bathroom? Let us know down in the comments. I would just have a tent and I'd have my own little, my own little bathroom tent. <laughs> and then charge, like you said on the phone last night, you charge people to come in. Yeah, it's like five minutes or I'm gonna open the door. Or you <laughs> hand out another five dollar bill, I'll give you another five more minutes. You know, next year, you know, if there is a Hatchimal type phenomenon, you know, we could hit the lines, but you know, not necessarily to buy anything, but we could sell like hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you go have like a little donut. Yeah, go to Dunkin' Donuts and like you want a donut, five dollars. Oh, we could bring Maggie. She's a little heater. We'll just rent a pup. Rent a pup. <laughs> rent a pup. 
What happened? Go on the bottom of someone's stinky, <laughs> stinky uh, sleeping, sleeping bag. bag that's been pooping in all night. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. Maggie doesn't deserve that. All Hopefully. right. I got to head home. No Hatchimal for Ryan. Puppies. Do I smell good? Puppy, puppy, she puppy. did buy this grow a tree. I got you Christmas presents. Oh, well, that's good. And I got bumble jammies. Uh, yeah. Alrighty, it is December. What day is that? <laughs> 11th. And that is over here. You ready? Okay. Okay. All right. Donald? What? How could you tell that was him? Whoa. Is it Donald? It is Donald. Donald to go with Daisy. Where's Daisy? Yeah. Right. And... <laughs> I'm trying to get it to focus on Donald. There's little Donald. He has the green scarf around his waist. With a little gold star. Looks like he's wearing a fez. And a bow tie. This is the Doctor Who Donald. Who Donald? Who Donald? <laughs> And there's little Daisy to go with Donald. Aww. Yay. So exciting. Nope, we'll come back tomorrow and we'll open up box number 12, okay? okay I can look. Yep, tomorrow. Okay. Yep, we'll open this one tomorrow. Uh, oh. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah.